Hi everyone, welcome back to Infosec Train SOC interview sessions. And here we are with the new fresh questions for you guys. The very first one: A user reports receiving a suspicious email with an attachment. How would you determine if the attachment contains malware and what actions would you take? So basically this question is testing the candidate's understanding of email security and threat analysis. So SOC analysts they need to be skilled in identifying and you know uh, mitigating email based threats so in order to answer this the candidate so candidate they might explain that they would start by analyzing the email headers and send the information right if there is any sign for spoofing and they would then carefully examine the attachment which is their attached with the email correct and you know and most preferably in the sandbox environment so that we can prevent any potential infection right so they might extract the attachments file hash and compare it with any known malicious hashes to identify any matches over there so if the attachment is suspicious they might also check any embedded urls for known malicious domains after confirming the presence of malware they would isolate the affected email block the sender and potentially perform user awareness training so that we can prevent any similar incidents in the future also right second question you noticed you know uh, a surge in failed login attempts to an internal server from various ip addresses so how would you approach this particular situation and determine if it's a brute force attack right kind of a you know combination based attack so someone is trying to get into the uh, account so basically this question is evaluating the candidate's ability to detect and respond to suspicious login activities right so it tests their familiarity with detecting attack patterns and uh, performing analysis also so here you can say like you know the candidate they can describe how they would retrieve and analyze the logs of failed login attempts so they would use security information and event management which is a sim tools to aggregate and correlate the data so they would uh, you can say look for patterns right uh, such as multiple failed login attempts from different ip address in the short time frame and on top of that you can say additionally they might compare the ip addresses against threat intelligence feeds also to identify any known malicious sources so to confirm a brute force attack they would analyze the usernames you know which are used in the attempts and the frequency of login attempts and any suspicious behavior along with that so if the pattern matches with brute force attack they would you know uh, probably block the offending ip addresses and consider implementing stronger authentication mechanism to prevent future attacks for this next question the third question for the day a new vulnerability affecting a critical software used by your organization is disclosed so how would you prioritize the patching process and communicate this to the stakeholders okay so basically in this question or you can say this question assesses the candidates vulnerability management skills and communication abilities also okay so soc uh, analysts they need to prioritize vulnerabilities effectively and communicate the risk to relevant parties okay so here if you want to give the explanation you can see the candidates you know they can explain their approach to vulnerability management right so they might mention that they would begin by assessing vulnerabilities uh, severity using the metrics of your cvss right cvss score common vulnerability scoring system right so they would then evaluate the potential impact on the organization's assets and operations because it will be impacting it so if the vulnerability has a high cvss score kind of you know uh, severity critical ones and poses a significant risk so they would prioritize it accordingly right so it goes from low to uh, severe basically low medium high and severe the cvs score so they would collaborate with id teams to schedule patching based on the criticality of the affected systems 
and the potential for exploitation. So in terms of communication, they would prepare a clear and concise report de detailing the vulnerabilities impact, potential consequences of exploitation and recommendation patching timeline also. So they would communicate the information to relevant stakeholders such as your IT teams, management and possibly to your end users also. Okay, uh, which basically ensures that everyone understands the urgency and the importance of the patching process. That would be it. Thank you.